Hello everybody, hello and welcome, welcome to my YouTube creative studio. My name is Sonia and every month I'm here with my monthly report and talking about uh, news, inspiration, motivations, about yarn, about my new pattern and uh, you know what happened in the last uh, month. So I visited the, the local shop Monica as always. So in a while I will show you what I found there. New yarns, new colors. I was so excited and uh, this uh, month I would like to speak more about yarns which are um, uh, the best for the summer for me or the best for the summer. You know I want colors and I also love quality yarn. So I uh, decided to choose some yarn, uh, some premium yarn, 100% uh, cotton. This is my uh, choice uh, for the summer project. It's a Papatia Supreme cotton. And uh, I would like to create uh, like a navy uh, top. And uh, I will show you because I uh, got so many questions. How to make a top with cups? I have many, many tops and tunics and they are for girls. Many are for girls, of or for teenage girls, and I have no uh, top with uh, cups. Okay, so I will show you in this video how to make a perfect uh, cups like this, which will fit to any size. Uh, you can measure the breast, the bottom of the breast and the length uh, to the middle of the breast and uh, according to your measurement you can make a perfect cup. So this one is uh, for me. It's a uh, size 75D. So I will show you how to make uh, it fit. <laughs> and I use uh, this uh, this yarn, uh, dark blue and uh, white color. Um, then uh, I promised, and I think in February that I will show you how to make the skirt with ruffle yarns. So I used this yarn, this ruffled yarn, and. Uh, my friend has a two years old girl and she was so excited um, to have a skirt with this uh, ruffled yarn. So I made a skirt for, you know, for um, ballet dancers uh, with this yarn. I will show you how it happened. So it's amazing, it's perfect for dancing, for ballet, for small girls and you can very easily resize it to small, to bigger, make it longer, wider, shorter, up to you. So I will show you uh, my, my skirt for girls um, and the video tutorial will come very very soon, I hope next week and uh, I will also show you the pattern on uh, or with the butterfly. Uh, you know my very favorite dress is uh, Rainbow Fairy and there is a pattern with a chest, chest ball pattern with flowers. I love this pattern but uh, in my next dress I would like to use the pattern with this uh, butterfly pattern. So I will make a new pattern for summer dress with the chest pattern, the chest ball pattern with the butterfly. I would like to have this dress uh, really for summer, so with no sleeves. 
and uh, yeah uh, I'm so happy that you love my uh, rainbow watermelon uh, summer dress or summer tunic. Uh, the pattern is already on air and I absolutely fall in love uh, in the pattern and in the colors. They are amazing. So you definitely have to check uh, this pattern. Um, yeah. And uh, you know, I'm working on the temperature project. I'm working on my temperature snake and in May there are two new colors <laughs> because the temperature um, was over 20, 26 degrees in the center Europe in Prague so I add two more colors in my temperature snake and I will show you how it uh, uh, looks like now okay so and yeah I think this is it so now uh, let's go to the shop and let me show you what is there <laughs> okay <laughs> let's go hello everybody hello once again and welcome to my very favorite local shop, Volnica. It's uh, in Prague, in Central Europe, in Czech Republic, and I'm very, very happy uh, to be there and uh, to show you uh, which yarns I found and which I really love. You know me, I love colors, so I immediately found uh, these uh, shelves with the beautiful, uh, colored self striping a look at them and uh, yeah I think they will be perfect for summer look at these colors this yarn is uh, Katonish from Papatia and uh, this uh, skein with the yellow and the blue is uh, used uh, for this summer sweater. What do you think? It looks like a sky with a golden sun shining. I love it. And this one is uh, used, this cane with uh, the red and white is used for the scarf and there are so many so i will show you the detail of uh, the ball and you have to tell me which one you like and uh, let's look at these skeins they are also from papatia uh, they are batik cotton and i think also these colors are perfect in each skein there is a white stripe with a, a white cotton so it's a really special yarn with this white strip you see and again i will show you the detail of the skein so let's look at it so this is Papatia Batik Cotton Blend. It's 70% uh, acrylic and 30% cotton. And the cotton, look at it, it's so uh, beautiful. And the cotton is uh, this white string, it's a white cotton. And it's uh, self striping, you can choose. Uh, the skein with uh, like this uh, one color with uh, light uh, shadows of the color. This one is beautiful red, pink and violet together. Or there are, yeah, there are the details. It's uh, 100 grams in one ball and 225 meters in one ball and these ball are amazing as well they remind me blooming meadow in uh, spring and summer 
the gray one is a uh, classic so you can choose very very colorful uh, scans or this uh, I'd say classical one uh, in shade one shadow and this is the yarn I'll show you it's cartoonish cartoonish from Papadia it's anti pale wow these guys I think this will be my favorite one in one ball there are 100 grams and 250 meters and it's a 100% acrylic but it's premium acrylic and if you touch the uh, yarn it's uh, so so soft <laughs> Yes, yeah, so look at this ball. The sweater is made with it and a sample of a scarf or shawl made with this ball. There are not uh, so, you know, gentle uh, transitions, so colored transitions. They are quite uh, strong. As you can see, there is white and suddenly there is a uh, dark red but I also love uh, these colors combinations uh, so uh, this is uh, Papatia Catanish premium uh, acrylic yarn and let's look in the shelf with uh, uh, small skeins 50 grams and, and with amazing colors this is Papatia Supreme Cotton and I think this yarn would be perfect for summer projects. It's a 100% uh, cotton. It's a specific cotton, mercerized Egyptian cotton and it's quite a tiny uh, yarn so I think uh, the small crochet hook uh, will be useful when uh, you will use this uh, cotton. Yeah, and in one ball there is uh, 50 grams, 1.76 uh, inches, 106 uh, meters and 116 yards. And it's a uh, category number three, uh, DK light yarn, and a recommended hook is uh, four millimeters. Look at the colors which are available. I think I will definitely choose one of them at least. And uh, yeah, I move to this corners. There are yarns from Alize brand look at the Alize. You can choose one color in one ball and there are also many many rainbow uh, colored balls and this is Alize Diva. It's a 100% acrylic premium acrylic yarn very uh, shiny and uh, soft and very pleasant yarn and there is also very nice uh, yarn from Alize, Alize Miss. It's a uh, very very light and tiny mm, yarn. Uh, in one ball there are 50 grams, 280 meters, it's 100% cotton and the recommended hook is uh, one or two millimeters and I think this would be a very very uh, it's perfect yarn for summer project for light uh, airy project you can make the tops or tunics and dresses also uh, again it's a uh, mercerized uh, cotton 100% cotton and you see that the yarn it's a bit uh, shiny look at this sample so i think the pattern uh, which you will use on your project will look so uh, amazingly uh, on your project it will be 
very visible and definitely it will look really luxury look at these samples so also this is my favorite yarn uh miss alice miss and yeah look at these colors as well it was gently gentle uh colors transitions also this one would be perfect uh, for babies uh, for baby uh, girls what do you think and uh, yeah this uh, blue one for boy yes um, and look at this one yeah for baby boys i think this color is uh, amazing so it's 100 percent weatherized cotton and it's very very uh, tiny and uh, light yarn and uh, you know me i love brand tereska i love uh, also tereska multi and this is it this is tereska multi the colors are a bit uh, similar to alice miss uh, you think and again it's a uh, 100 percent cotton in one ball there are 50 grams and uh, 155 meters so it's not uh, so so tiny as uh, alize miss there were uh, almost 300 uh, meters so uh, double lengths and uh, yeah look at the yarn i love these colors also the uh, yarn with the, the black gray and the red one is so uh, perfect so there are so so many balls uh, which you can choose and let me show you the last yarn it's acrylic yarn it's uh, you know the standard acrylic quite cheap yarn and this is the yarn which I would like to use for my summer poncho. You know me, every summer I create a poncho and usually made with four squares or two rectangles. And uh, today I would like to choose some colors for my summer poncho as well. So this is Terry now. Uh, it's 100% acrylic in one ball there are uh, 100 grams and 300 meters so it's quite long I love some of this cream color so I think I will choose some balls to make my summer poncho ponchos are amazing during the year and uh, i love them especially in the summertime in the evening so cool afternoon um, you can put them quickly on your dress or t-shirts and uh, enjoy the uh, cooler time so yeah this is it my crochet friend thank you very much for watching and uh, i will meet you in a while in my workroom and i will show you which uh, skeins i chose okay bye so here i am and before i show you the skeins i'm so proud to show you my temperature project my temperature a uh, snake you see every row on my snake is uh, a highest temperature on a day and in may i add two new colors uh, the orange one and this dark uh, orange or almost red uh, so the temperature were quite high our 25 degrees so my snake is uh, now getting uh, orange uh, and uh, probably it will get red soon so i expect that the summer will be really really lovely and warm and sunny so now i will cut the uh, light 
green color which is for uh, 7 till 9 decreases. I hope I will not use this yarn in the summertime and uh, yeah I hope I will continue with uh, these orange colors uh, for next month's. Again I will show you my snake uh, in a few months so you will see how it's going. And now let's look at the skein which I chose. This is Papatia Supreme Cotton and as I told you before I really felt in love with this yarn. It's a premium cotton yarn you see and I chose this uh, dark blue color light blue and white. It's a very very pleasant yarn and uh, you know it's a natural uh, yarn and I love to wear uh, the cotton, premium cotton yarns are directly on the body during the summer. So this yarn I chose for the summer top uh, or a summer a bikini top. And uh, this yarn it's Papatia Batik cotton blend and uh, you know it's a uh, acrylic cotton yarn with a white uh, cotton. Uh, so I think this uh, yarn could be perfect for some uh, summer west. Uh, what do you think? And I chose also this Papatia cottonish. It's a premium acrylic yarn and I definitely love these uh, shining uh, colors. They are so so bright and I think these colors would be amazing for some summer top. Uh, you will definitely shine <laughs> with uh, these colors. So it's a premium uh, anti-pill uh, yarn and I also told you that I will use Terina. So this is the color which uh, I chose for my poncho. I will add uh, some more colors and I decided to make a poncho with uh, four squares uh, starting in the middle like a circle with the flower and then continue to make a square. And uh, you know me, my crochet friends, I also love to make bags. So I chose this uh, yarn Alisa Diva with these bright colors to make a summer, uh, you know, like a market uh, uh, bag or a beach uh, bag. Uh, the light bag which uh, you can put uh, in your purse and when you need it, you just uh, pull it out and use it. So this is it my crochet friends. Uh, now I would like to show you some projects which will be on air soon. Voila! This is my ruffled skirt. This skirt is made for two years old girl and she loves dancing and she loves ballet. So that's why I made this uh, cute uh, a uh, skirt with uh, ruffles. You can also use the pattern. You see on the wrong side this is a really nice pattern for skirt and I simply uh, and on every third row attach the ruffled yarn. So it's very very easy to work with ruffled yarn. I will show you the tutorial very soon and uh, if you have some small girls around show uh, them this skirt. I think they will love it. And you can make a tunnel on the top uh, of the skirt and pull some uh, elastic uh, into the tunnel and make an elastic uh, waist. Uh, so this is it. I also love uh, these uh, colors. They are so bright, perfect for spring and summer. Of course you can use this skirt on any occasion, party, dancing, ballet. And as I promised in my last monthly report, I would like to make a dress with a, a 
butterfly pattern. So that's why I prepared this sample for you with a butterfly. The butterfly is on the chessboard pattern, which I used for my very popular uh, dress pattern, Rainbow Fairy, and there were flowers. And now I would like to make a pattern, chessboard pattern, with uh, butterflies. The shape is uh, almost a square, it's 14 times 16 centimeters, or in inches, it's a uh, 5.5 times uh, 6.2 inches. Uh, of course, the size will depend uh, on your crochet hook and the yarn you will choose. I will choose a uh, quite uh, tiny yarn and a small crochet hook, I think two or two and a half millimeters for my dress. So this is uh, just a sample. You see uh, between the butterflies there is just board uh, pattern which is decreasing and then it's uh, increasing uh, around the butterfly pattern so this is uh, my very favorite pattern i will prepare the tutorial very very soon so you can use it on your summer projects tops and tunics and uh, as I promised my crochet friends, I would like to show you how to make a perfect bikini top which really fits on your size. I will show you how to measure the body. You will need the, the measure tape to measure the bottom of your breast. And also from the bottom of your breast till the nipple. So these two lengths you will need to make a perfect bikini cup. So for example, for extra small size, uh, there are six uh, centimeters, the length from the bottom to the nipple. And... Uh, 12 centimeters uh, for as a length of the bottom of the breast. So in inches it's uh, 2.3 inches the length from the bottom till the nipple and uh, the uh, bottom length is 4.7 inches. For crocheting I will use 3 millimeters crochet hook and I will work with two strands together to have a cup uh, quite solid and firm and uh, to hold uh, the shape uh, perfectly. So now I will uh, create a cup for myself so it's uh, size D 75D. So this is my size and I chained 20 chains. So let me measure. I will need 10 centimeters for my size. So now it's a bit longer, 10.5. So let's remove two chains. Okay, so now I have eight chains and 10 centimeters 4 inches okay so now let's continue chain 1 I don't count chain 1 at the beginning of the row as a stitch place a single crochet in the first chain in the row and then in each and every chain place one single crochet so at the beginning or in the first row I will have 18 single crochet stitches. Okay, so one single crochet in each chain till end of row and here we are, I have 18 and I will continue crocheting. In the last stitch I will place 
one, two and three single crochets and I will place the marker in the middle stitch on the middle stitch so on the second chain on the top now I will continue working along the opposite side of my foundation chain so again one single crochet in each chain you see and you should have 17 single crochets or, or chain still end of row so 17 single crochets plus three on the top so one single crochet in each chain work on the opposite side of the foundation chain perfect and I tied my work a bit <laughs> chain one and then your work you see I will work in rows back and forth and now it's important I will work in back loop of each single crochet till the middle single crochet okay so find the back loop then you work a bit and place single crochet in back loop only till you reach the marker okay I tied the yarn to have quite solid work solid cup so one single crochet in each single crochet back loop only till you reach the marker here I am the last single crochet back loop only and now I'm on the top so remove the stitch marker and work three single crochets standard single crochet so you see front and back loop so make uh, standard crochet stitches so normal so, uh, single crochets one two and and place a stitch marker on the second one and the third so I have one two three single crochets on the top and now just be careful the next stitch is a bit hidden so you have to move the last single crochet a bit to find it and then you will continue working in back loops till the end of your row Okay, so you should have 18 single crochets, find the back loop and place a single crochet in each of them. And this is it my crochet friends. This is a really easy way how you can make a perfect bikini cup according to your size, to your measures okay so work till end of row let me remind you that chain one at the beginning is not as a stitch I don't count chain one as a stitch so chain one and work a single crochet in the first single crochet in the row and again in back loop only okay sometimes it's difficult <laughs> I tied my stitches 
and I use two strands and small crochet hook. So now go to the middle and in the middle stitch work one, two, three stitches, then go back down and then again work in rows and your cup will grow and then once you are satisfied with the length of the bottom for the extra small we need 12 centimeters for my size I will need uh, 20 centimeters uh, 7.8 inches so i will show you in a while how it turned out <laughs> look at my work <laughs> so now if i will measure it it has uh, 14 centimeters 5.5 inches so i have to add more rows for my size and uh, yeah I would like to make a nautical uh, cup so I will add a white color and I will make uh, uh, stripes white uh, dark blue and white I think that uh, the size the length and the width will be perfect let me show you how to change the color so I will not finish my last single crochet prepare the new yarn and pull the new yarn through both loops on your hook to finish last single crochet okay then chain one and turn your work and this is it this is easy then you will continue with white yarn again work in back loops now it's easy to see it okay so work in back loops single crochet in each single crochet till you reach the stitch marker and in the middle stitch place three single crochets Okay, just make sure you work in both loops in both strands sometimes it's a bit difficult especially when you tight your work as I do oh yeah I love nautical projects the combination of dark blue and white it's amazing okay so I will uh, make two rows with white then I will continue with uh, blue again two rows and two rows with white <laughs> isn't it cute <laughs> so what do you think my crochet friends uh, I absolutely love uh, this color combination so in my uh, next tutorial I will show you how to finish the bikini top let me measure the size it has uh, 20 centimeters which is uh, 7.8 inches and uh, this is the width of the bottom and uh, the length is 19 centimeters as you can see the shape is perfect so 19 centimeters 7.4 inches and this length should be very same yes it has 19 centimeters 7.4 inches 
So this is it my crochet friends. You already know how to create a perfect bikini cup uh, which really fits on your size according to your measurement. Mm, let me show you if I will put uh, uh, the created uh, um, cup on my bra. It's a uh, 75D size. I know that the shape is uh, quite different but just to measure the size to show you that the size is the same. <laughs> Look at it. Perfect. Amazing. I'm so satisfied. So if you will have any questions uh, regarding uh, this uh, video tutorial, please put the comment in the box below. So this is it my crochet friends. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video tutorial. If you like it, please give me your thumb up and don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. If uh, I put it <laughs> on this extra small mannequin, uh, you see it's quite big but the shape is perfect. This is the end of my monthly report uh, talking about the yarn, uh, new patterns and uh, some projects which I'm working on. Uh, let me remind you that as every month there is a giveaway so you can put the comment in the box below this uh, video and to ask uh, for the balls uh, which you would like to try or you can share your experience with uh, the yarns which were presented uh, in this show and uh, at the end of the month I will choose one of you who will receive a ball as a gift a ball to try so thank you very much for watching my crochet friends uh, wish you happy crocheting take care and bye for now bye bye